All right, here's one of the vacuums that I got last week for free. Yep, I got a Simplicity Synergy, 100% perfectly working for free. And I'll tell you a story about it in a second, the other vacuums I got. But it's only missing the dusting brush and upholstery tool combo, which I will get for it, even though I won't even use it. But the only, well, it's not 100% perfectly working, but the suction through the hose isn't that great. And I don't know if it's the same through the floor, but I don't think it is. I think it works fine on the floor, but so... Me and my dad drove up to Leesburg, Virginia to get a meal of champagne, which I already made a video on. So we were just going to go up to see that because he told us it would be worth it, the commute, the 30 minute commute up there. And he was telling me over the phone, like he had just a box of dice and parts and I was just expecting like a huge Tupperware box of just... Dyson parts, so that's what I was expecting. And when we went there, he 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 was nice. He put the meal on hold for me, even though it took us a week to get up. Well, I called him a week prior to us going up there, but he held it there for me. And I told him on the phone like how old I was. I was a vacuum collector. I have like this many vacuums. I collect Dysons, mainly focus on Dysons. And he was just telling me he had all these Dysons in the back. So, after I looked at um, the meal lot and decided I was going to purchase it, he said, oh yeah, you can come into the back and look at the scrap vacuums. He had, like, high quality, like, good vacuums. He had, like, three vintage Electroluxes in the trash. Not vintage, but, like, in the 1980s through the 90s. Like, the good ones. The Eris. He had a newer Electrolux in the trash. He had the commercial Electrolux in the trash. He had a DC-07. He had a yellow Mila. It was an older Mila, but he had it in there. And I was upset that it was in there, but... Um, what else did he have out there? Well, that was outside. In the actual back, he had, like, Kirby's, Dyson's, um, Mila's. Just, like, high-end vacuums. It wasn't too, too much there, but when I got back there, I w it was so overwhelming because he was just naming off prices, like... Oh, that simplicity you can have for 40. Oh, this, that Dyson DC-50, that's for scrap, you can have it for 10. And then after I, um, sorry, my camera cut out, but after I agreed to get that, which I didn't have all the money up front, he was really nice about it. He just said, give me the rest of the money when you can, which today I have to go up and finish paying him back. But after I got that, pretty much everything in the back was take it because he was going to throw all of it away. This is perfect he was gonna throw it away same with this Dyson I just um, registered it online and Dyson is it should the part should be in here today the power head but um he was gonna oh yeah there was a DC 25 animal back there oh yeah let me just name off all the stuff that I got I got a well I got the champagne I got this Dyson DC 50 I got the simplicity I got a DC-25 Animal Plus, which my dad took because he wants it for his, like, office downstairs. I don't even, I don't know why he wants it. I could just give him one of mine because I was going to sell that. Oh, yeah, and I sold my blue DC-25. I'm keeping the pink one, which I'll make a video on that later. But, um, I got a Mila Plus, a blue one, which I'm really kind of upset about because I blew the motor in it by rewiring it wrong. And the trash came and picked it up today, but, um, I got a Electrolux Epic. It just needs the brush roll. What else did I get? Is that all nine of them? That might be it. Yeah, I think that's it. But, yeah, I got pretty much the find of a lifetime, which is what I call it because it really was. But anyway, this needed a new bumper and the attachments... So I got the bumper for it, and the people who had this before me smoked, and the HEPA filter smelled like cigarettes, so I put a dryer sheet in between the filter and the air where it comes out. So, um, yeah, and I just took the dryer sheet out because now it smells fine, but this is such a great vacuum. It's 
I've always wanted a tandem air vacuum. And if I want to, I can sell it and get really good profit from it. Because I only have, like, let's see, $15 in the bags and then $5 for the bumper. So I can get pretty good profit from this, like, amazing profit. But I think I'm going to keep it because I've always wanted a tandem air vacuum. And it's just a great vacuum. Oh, yeah. Um, the other two vacuums, I got a Mila S7 Twist, which was for scrap. And a Mila Silver Moon, which is the same body style as that, but it's equivalent to the Capricorn and the Unique or the C3 Brilliant. I hate Mila's new names. They should just kept it with the S series. But the S7 didn't have a handle or hose or wand or vanity plate on the back or bag holder. When we took it to the vacuum store near me, we plugged a handle into it and tried to turn it on. It wouldn't even turn on, so it's there for servicing. And I think I'm just going to trade um, the S7 and the Silver Moon in on a S5 Gemini. I don't even know how to say it, but it's there. Hopefully they'll let me do it. And they have an Aura Kalo there too, so hopefully I can trade those two in on those two vacuums and maybe just owe them some more money in the end, which I might do that today too, after uh, going up and paying the guy back for the champagne but let me go plug this in and give a demo before i give the demo i just want to say to if you haven't already if you're a new subscriber go follow my instagram it's at dyson obsessed it's in my bio for my channel i post sneak peeks um and new vacuum projects and like sneak peeks before i post videos on youtube like pictures and videos so anyway let's just do the demo and this isn't the premium one, I don't think, because it doesn't have the two amber lights on either side, but I don't really care. It, it was a free synergy, so... sections with the hose and I would say that's one of the only downsides of the vacuum the other is just it's heavy and it's loud but other from that or aside from that I really like it I've always wanted a tandem air vacuum so I'm really happy to have it maybe I'll sell it in the future when I'm trying to get a car which I'm actually trying to get a car now so um thanks for watching make sure to go follow my instagram